Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we will look at Psalm chapter 32 verses 1 through 7. Psalm 32. It is a great blessing when people are forgiven for the wrong they have done. When their sins are erased. It is a great blessing when the Lord says they are not guilty. When they don't try to hide their sins. Lord, I pray to you again and again. But I did not talk about my sins. So I only became weaker and more miserable. Every day you made life harder for me. I became like a dry lawn in a hot, hot summer time. But then I decided to confess my sins to the Lord. I stopped hiding my guilt and told you about my sins. And you forgave them all. That is why your loyal followers pray to you while there is still time. Then when trouble rises like a flood, it will not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You protect me from my troubles. You surround me and protect me. So I sing about the way you saved me. The psalmist, which is David, he says it is a great blessing when people are forgiven of the wrongs that they have done. Some versions will say happy or blessed is the person whose sins are forgiven. So today we can say happiness is to be forgiven. It is an emotion that defies all description. We cannot even describe the happiness that comes to us when our sins are forgiven. It is a relief of an, an enormous burden that is lifted from off our shoulders. The death for sin has been paid. It is cancelled. Our conscience can be at peace, at rest in God. The guilt is gone. The struggle is ended. And peace can now be enjoyed. David knew what it is. And that is why he today is writing. That when one sin, their sins can be cleansed. Their spirit can be cleansed from guile, from deceitfulness. Today, as believers, it means more than the mere covering of our sins like in the Old Testament. With the concept of atonement. In this age, believers know that they know that their sins have been put away, washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Forever placed in the sea of God's forgetfulness, where he promise to remember them no more. We see in Romans chapter 4 verse 7 and 8, the Apostle Paul quotes, Psalm 32, verse 1 and 2, to show that justification was apart from works, even in the Old Testament period. But the period lies not so much in what David say, but in what he does not say. He is not speaking. Speaking about righteousness or a righteous man that he earns or he deserves a salvation. He is talking about a sinner who has been forgiven. 
and he makes no mention of works because it is not by works that we are saved. It is true the Holy Spirit and we believe in, in God. So David described the happiness of one whose sins God has taken away and has imputed righteousness to such person apart from works. Romans 4 and verse 6. David was able to write the psalm because he knew what it was like after he had committed adultery with Bathsheba and plotted the death of Uriah, her husband. He steadfastly refused to confess his sins. He tried to cover it up, to sweep it all under the rug. Perhaps he tried to rationalize it, that time would heal the wounds. But in his stubborn refusal to break, he was fighting against God and against his own best interest. He became a physical wreck and it was all caused by his unrelieved anguish of spirit. He realized that God's hand was heavy upon him, blocking him, frustrating him at every turn. Nothing works out right anymore. Remember, he was the king, but nothing he did seem to mesh. And so as he continued in this way, it was as if he was in a wilderness. Nothing happened good anymore. So after a year of impenitence, and anguish because of his sin, David finally came to the place where he was willing to utter the most important words. And it is, I have sinned. Then the whole shameful story broke out of the king taking away Uriah's wife, getting her pregnant, and killing Uriah and hiding all this in an attempt that maybe it will go away. But David finally called sin, sin. He says in Psalm 51, my iniquities, my transgressions, God, I confess them to you so that you can forgive me and that I will again be assured that my sins or my iniquity is purged. His experience of answered prayer move him to pray for all of God's people that would probably find themselves in the same position, meaning the position of sin. Those who live in fellowship with the Lord the Bible says, in the time of distress, he will deliver us. He says, the rush of great waters would not reach us. So there is a contrast between a person whose sins are forgiven and one who sin and cover up their sins. But we see from the psalmist who is David. The one was so un or impenitent is now contrite in heart. He has a broken spirit. So with keen gratitude, he acknowledge that God is his hiding place. His protection from trouble and the one who surrounds him with songs of deliverance. So today we can say happiness is when one is forgiven. Happiness is to be forgiven. 
and we see a fourfold blessing as the psalmist declare. The fourfold blessing is that a man becomes happy or blessed when his sins are forgiven. Blessed or happy when his sins are covered. When he is forgiven and his sins are not imputed to him any longer. When such person's spirit is cleared of guile. We see examples of confession in the scriptures. We have Job in Job 7 and verse 20. And of course we see when David wrote Psalm 51 that we love so much and even pray on ourselves. We also see blessings of a righteous man or a man who is forgiven, whose sins are a Tone for whose sins are not charged to them. Such person receive mercy from God. Such person is not overwhelmed with sorrow because they are hiding sin. But such person has God as their hiding place. God as their help. The one who preserves from trouble. And the one who compasses about with songs of deliverance. God bless you today. As we, if we have sinned, confess our sins to him. He says he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But if we cover up our sins, the Bible says, that we will not prosper. So if we want to prosper and if we want to be happy, let us uh, confess all known sins. God bless you. Thank you again for watching.